Good evening, friends. Welcome, welcome. It is time for another. Sorry, we're sharing. Time for another glam session. I'm going to share really quick while you guys hop on. Let me see. There we go. Hop on and say hello. We're going to freshen up a little bit. We're going to do a soft pink look and we're going to do simple brows. Easy peasy. Anybody could do this makeup look. I basically still have on the same like foundation I've had on all day long, which is our new stick foundation that came out, I don't know, a couple, maybe a month or so ago, two months ago. And then I'm just going to do a soft pink look with it and freshen up my brows. And it's going to be one of those fast, like on the go, mommy looks or you have like 10 minutes to get ready, this is going to be the look you're going to want to do. You're going to slap on some makeup. Like I said, I've got on the stick foundation. You don't even have to put powder over it if you don't want to. I'm going to throw on a little bit of blush. I'm going to also use the blush as our eyeshadow and do a pink lip and it'll be done. And I'm going to use, it's called Serene. It's just a really light pink, which is a good color to choose if you're trying to do this like really natural look. Hey, Lori. Yes, make sure you guys hop on. Say hello. Don't forget to like, comment, and share if you want to enter the drawing. And be in my VIP group where I do like trivia and stuff like that. So someone, I'm doing one to two like gift basket giveaways every single month. So make sure you're in my VIP group. The link is pinned above or however you're watching. And it'll take you right to it. And every month I'm going to do a, um, a raffle. I'm doing good, love bug. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to put on a little cheap blush. Now I'm going to leave that same cheap blush out because I'm going to use it on my eyes in just a minute. But I'm going to show you how quick and easy you could do your brows. And as you can see, looking at mine, I have hardly, I have no brows. As you can see, I've got like a little bit of hair here and then it just kind of like fades away. So I'm going to show you how I fill that in and use some eyeshadow and a lippy and call it a day. What's up, hoochie butt? I cannot wait to see you this weekend. Just to put a little bit of bronzer on, just to contour. Because even if you're just like on the go and you don't want to spend a lot of time doing your makeup, but you don't want to look like you didn't spend any time doing your makeup, contour. That is like the easiest, like if you contour, highlight, throw on a little bit of blush and mascara, it's gonna look like you spent all this time on your makeup, but you really didn't. And that's my kind of day. Aw, thanks, Lori. Gracias. Oops, wrong brush. And then just blend it out. Look how fast this comes together. Like, it takes no time at all. Okay. Let's brow time because your girl needs some help with that. Now, I combine brow palette and brow pencil. Now, you can use one or the other, and I think a lot of people have more comfort in the brow pencil, even though I think the brow palette looks more natural. But I use medium in the brow pencil, and then I use brunette in the brow palette. And the pencil comes in three shades, the palette comes in three shades. So, what I usually do, and you can actually skip how to outline your brows, but y'all, my hair is getting on my ever-loving last nerve. Okay, so I take the, I have like this art system here, and I have the brow pencil, both my brushes, and the brow palette. So I kind of just come on and like comb my brows up so they're not down. I have lash extensions, and go figure, so Doing my mascara takes me like a decade, right? Because all my bristles have to be like bristles. All my lashes have to be like straight and I don't like them touching each other. I'm a hot mess when it comes to mascara, okay? I could put it on, it just takes like you'd rather watch paint dry. And so, go figure, a couple of days after I get lash extensions, Unique announces that they are coming out with a new product and it's the 4D, 5, the 4D Lash Mascara after I get lash extensions. So now I'm gonna have to let these grow off so I could try the lash, or the um, 4D mascara. So, yeah. 
yes. That would be, that would be moi. Okay, so I go on after I comb them back, and I take this brow brush, the one that has the spoolie on the end, because to me, this is a little bit thinner, and I shade in with this one, because you see how it's like a little bit thicker? Kind of see the difference? So, thank you. And I mix my two browns together, so I kind of dip in the light and the dark brown to kind of outline my lashes, and this is how you're going to get a natural looking lash, because... As you can see, I don't have a lot, so I have to make mine look natural. Girl, yes. And my husband said it too, like when I um, told him, guess what product came out today when he got home from work and I was telling him all about the 40 mascara. He's like, oh, go figure, you just got lash extensions. Yeah, I did. Thank you, girl. So I dip it in and then I have a, pe a napkin or a toilet tissue and I wipe both sides of my brush. So see how it got it on there? And it's going to give you a cleaner line if you do that. So it won't look like eyeshadow on your eyes. And then I just, whew, somebody's talking about me. And then I just kind of like line them out on the bottom. And I start from obviously the widest point and make a diagonal line. And just do the outside light so that you can't tell it when you're done. So see how I'm kind of making a diagonal line? And then I stop halfway. And then I'm going to do the top the same way, but I'm not going to start all the way at the end. I'm going to kind of start like a quarter of the way in. And just draw a straight line. So see how I've kind of like boxed that in? So you're basically making a, um, remember like the dot to dot, connect the dot pictures or whatever we did when we were kids? It's kind of like what you're doing. Girl, Deborah, you ain't got a clue, girlfriend. I'm excited about it. That's why I let my daggone lash extensions come off. I didn't know. This is the first time I've ever had lash extensions. And I was excited about it because I want to work out in the morning times and then work my business when I get home. And I was like, you know what? That would save me a ton of time if I just put on lash extensions. And I wouldn't have to worry about doing my mascara since that's what takes me the longest in my whole makeup routine. Then they announced the 4D mascara. They sure did. Now, I take the pencil, and what I love about the pencil is how skinny the spoolie is, because you can use it as like an eraser. But down here, so I kind of use the powder where I have natural brow, and then see down here where I don't have a lot of natural brow? That's where I use the pencil, because if you use powder, you really have nothing for it to stick to or like adhere to, and it's not going to look as natural. So then I just kind of finish it with this Voila. so I finish it with the pencil doing the same thing on the bottom okay so see how I kind of like drew my own brow and if you ever are confused about how your brow should go where to start, where to end. You can YouTube it for one, and a really good thing to look up on YouTube is microblading, because that kind of shows you how to line out your brows. But you can also use the one, two, three method, where, let me close this for a second and I'll show you. If you were to take a pencil or anything and you hold it by your nose, now don't ever let this end lead beside your nose. The pencil goes straight up. Where it first comes right here, that's where your brow should start. When it crosses your pupil, that's where your point should be. And then if you were to take this and go up your lower lash line, still touching your nose, that's where your brow should end. That's kind of like the one, two, three step. So it kind of helps you out. But then I take up here and finish doing the top and then bring a line down. So I've blocked in my whole brow. Now I'm just gonna shade it in. And I basically, because I don't have a lot right here, I'm like drawing little hairs just as if you were getting microbladed. And see, and just start shading away. And I kind of just put a little bit over where I have natural hair, but then bring it down to where I don't have hardly any, and it'll last all day. And then, when you have this part down, look at the big difference you get 
from doing brow and no brow. Like, it's huge. I look like a totally different person. Then I take the other, the very original, um, I, excuse me, Brow Artist Brush that has the thicker in, and I kind of go in the light color shade right here and just shade in what I've already done. And that's just going to give it more of a natural appearance because then it's going to look more like hair or brows, not like a pencil. But I'm barely touching my skin. I'm just kind of dabbing it on there. And that's just going to give it more of a natural appearance. And I'm using the Brunette Brow Palette. So you just kind of want to go off how dark do you really want your brows to be. If you want super dark, then you would go to the Brunette Black Palette. If you want lighter than me, then go to the Blonde Palette. And then I have the Brunette. So you can see the big difference. And then when I'm like doing this really good eye look, what carves out your brows better than anything is taking a little bit of concealer and I use Scarlet and outlining your brows. And that's just gonna like make them look a little bit cleaner. I need to pull up where I do get hair. And it serves as a highlight up under your brow. So you see how clean that made it? And I just kind of, it's a flat end of this brush. So I just kind of go in, clean everything up. And then I'll do around the top too. Because that's going to serve as like your highlight. And then blend it in when you're done. And I'll just keep some on a lid. And then blend. So see how it kind of highlights your brows? And then take like a smaller brush and blend out the harsh lines so you can't tell. But you don't want to blend all the way out because that's your highlight. You're just kind of smoothing it over. And there's your brows. Like, how easy was that? And you're going from this to that. Like, big difference. Now, if you were blessed with a lot of brows, then God bless you. But if you didn't, this is your trick, ladybug. And then I'll do the other side. And the other side will go by a little bit faster. And this one's also shaped a little bit different. So here's a trick I do on this side. So this one, I don't know if I plugged it this way maybe a long time ago and I didn't let it grow back right, but it's a little bit wider, so my bottom line is just a little bit different. I actually go into the gel, or it's like a setting gel, and then the light color to make my bottom line because then it's really smooth to draw it. So I go into gel, the brown, dab back in the gel, but don't stick it around your eyes because you can kind of see how thick it is. You just want to wipe each side off again, just like you did the first time on a paper towel or something, and then do your bottom line. Now it'll come out darker, but you'll blend it in. So see how easy it was to draw that bottom line? Because of that gel. So I got that whole bottom line started. And I'm just using the residual stuff that's still on here to do the top. So there, it makes it super easy when you have that gel. And then I'll do the same thing on this side I did on that. And just start feathering it out. And if you get it too dark in certain spaces, you make an accident, use the spoolie in, and it works as an eraser and just kind of erase it out and do it again. So see how I'm just filling it in? Hey April, how are you love bug? There you go. And then just shade it, thank you. Thanks. I love doing my brows. I know I'm probably crazy. But I love it.
So there you go. Now I'm do the same thing. Take the light color powder and just kind of comb over it a little bit and blend it in so it looks more like natural, like fiber or hair, not fiber. Voila. And then I'm going to do the same thing and just kind of clean it up a little bit with the Scarlet Concealer and use it as my highlight. I love to do brows. And then do the same thing on top. There you go. And I think anybody, and, and there, you can find brow stencils I know you need, I think we used, we used to sell some. I don't know if we still do or not. But you could probably find some on Amazon. Maybe. I don't think I've ever tried, but. Um, and then just blend it out. But it just takes practice. Some people say they can never get their brows right. You just kind of have to practice with it. Use the one-two step method. And just follow your natural brow. Rouse is dead. Boom. My favorite part. And I just kind of, where I mix my BB cream, I keep concealer on the lid, and that's what I dip my brush into. And then put the lid back on, and it keeps it moisturized in there because no air is hitting it. And then we're just going to throw on some cheek blush. So I'm just going to use, I mean, cheek blush on my eyes. So I'm going to go in with my blending brush. I'm going to that same, I'm going to Sisterly Blush, and we're going to put it on our eyes. And that's just going to give us a little bit of color, but not a full-on makeup. So see how it just kind of gives you a little color? Because this is that fast on the go look. Not we're going to spend an hour on our makeup look. Now, I don't know if everybody watching saw the new mascara that's coming out. It's coming out May 1st. So, they're going to get rid of the 3D Fiber Lash Mascara. And they're going to bring in the 4D Mascara. Which is supposed to be, like, way better than the 3D. And, um, it'll be available May 1st unless you buy one of the presenter kits. Either to be a unique presenter or a kidnapper. There's two kits. There's a 99 and a 199. And they are putting the new 4D mascara in that kit along with the Epic mascara. So you're gonna get the Epic and the um, you can get the Epic and the 4D. And you can also finance Unique Makeup now through PayPal Credit. That's an option when you check out. Um, and it's like monthly payment. I think the 199 kit is like a monthly payment of like 25 or 30 bucks a month. And the 99 is like 15 or 16 bucks a month. No interest for six months. So it's super easy to actually grab the kit this time. Um, whether you want to present or be a kidnapper. But all the mascaras come in the presenter kit. So it's just kind of like a no-brainer. Plus if you're in my VIP group, it's definitely a no-brainer to get the kits right now. Because of what AJ Glam loves her VIPs and what she's doing in her VIP group. Um, so, check out my Unique and Fabulous group if you're thinking about getting the kit. Because it's way worth it to get the kit versus buying one thing. And then, me and Marty. So, I'm going to my twin sister's house this weekend. And me and her are going to do a little, um, little something this weekend that you're going to want to stay tuned for. So, if you're not in my VIP group, you yeah, need to go get in it. Where is my brown? There it is. I'm going to put on just a little bit of brown eyeliner just on the bottom. Just so you look a little bit of alive. And what I love about our liners is once you let them set and let them dry, it's not going to go anywhere. Our um, liners, lip liners and eyeliners are water resistant, um, sweat resistant. They're the whole shebang. They're not going to go anywhere. And then let's put a little mascara on our bottom lashes. Makes us look more awake. I think I rubbed all mine off from earlier. Okay, so just a little bit. You don't want to overdo all the mascara when you're going with that whole natural vibe. 
And then I'm going to put on a pouty lip liner and a cute little pink hottie lip plumper. So let's put on a little bit of pouty. Also, I have, um, I forgot, I have a um, VIP IM chat group where I post all my sales first. Oh, I'm not going to say that word. Post all my AJ Glanville's first. So you have first dibs. So if you want to be in that chat group, let me know. You can always, um, like when you go to bed or at work or something, you can mute the notifications. But that way you get to see the deals before everybody else. Let's put on a little pouty. And anytime I wear any lip product, I always use lip liner. One, it's going to make it stay on longer, but two, it won't bleed. And it's going to make your lips look a little bit bigger, especially on the top. Thank God, because you see my top lip. I hardly had any top lip. Okay. So we got a little bit of pouty on. And then I'm going to use Renee Rochelle Hottie Lip Plumper, which is just a light pink. But let me put on my lip bomb bomb first. I always put a moisturizer on my lips before lipstick just so they don't get dry. And then I'm going to come on with this. And this is just a light pink gloss. And it's kind of like sparkly almost. But it works just like the lip glosses. It doesn't leave your lips feeling tacky and sticky. If you know what I mean. I love gloss over lipstick. But it's always been so hard to find gloss that didn't get ta you know, tacky after a few minutes and made it feel like your lips were sticking together. And then let me blot. And there's you a simple, easy peasy pink look. Brows done. You head out the door. You can even put on, if you don't want the gloss, you could use like a lip bonbon. You can even use just a lip liner on your whole lips and put on a clear gloss. Like, options are unlimited, ladybugs. Unlimited. And there's your look, glow bugs. So remember, don't forget, this month's kudos is any palette, one through six. Number six is the newest one. Probably my fave. But that's palette number six that just came out. But in this month's kudos, you can get one through six. You get an epic mascara and you get a splash liquid lipstick. Um, but if you're going to buy the kudos, reach out to me before you buy it. Trust me. Reach out to me before you buy it. Um, and then the 3D comes out May 1st unless you buy one of the presenter kits. And be watching for me and Marty's deals going on this weekend. Don't forget to be in my VIP group because if you're not in there, you will miss it because we're not allowed to do it on our personal page. So make sure you're in there. And other than that, ladybugs, that is it. That is another look in the books. So I love you guys. If you ever need any help, reach out to me. You can message me anytime. I do tell you that, like, once I usually get off this video, I'm in bed. Like, this chick goes to bed early, but I get up early. Like, regardless if I'm working or not, I'm an early riser. So, um, but I will respond to your message the next day, I promise. So I love you guys, and I will see you later. Bye.